Welcome back to our video series on the play framework using Scala. We left off last time where we had implemented delete, uh, but it, we ran into a little error when we said that we had an unexpected token in our JSON. This is actually a fairly simple error. It turns out when we copied over our, um, our template, all of these things linked to task list two, and our delete still does link to task list two. As a result, it was calling the old version that gives back HTML, which doesn't parse nicely as JSON. So if we change that to task list three, and we reload, now delete works. And add works. And the only thing that we have left is create. which took us back to load two's page. Okay, so that's not where we wanna be. But this is our last piece to add. So we can go ahead and change this, so it's not forgotten next time, to be a task three create user. Of course, if we were to try to reload the page at this point, we'd get a compile error because it says that route doesn't exist. Indeed, it doesn't. So let's go copy create two, bring it over here. I feel like it belongs near validate and change it so it will call on task list three. Now the validate is, pro or the create is probably gonna be most like a validate in the sense that when we do this, we are going to get hold of, and it's create user. They are passing us a username and a password and we need to verify things. Now we happen to have the code from our previous version which we can look at uh, and you know it pulled in this version it pulled it off from the URL encoded. Here we are pulling the body out and it's a user data. Uh, which has inside of it a username and a password, but instead of doing validate user, we need to use create user. Okay. And at that point, we would need to send them a similar response where we are going to send them true, but we're going to add a session with their username and that logs them in. By sending them back the true, we should cause our JavaScript over here to, so that was add, that's load. Here's login. We already have in here a thing that says this, so that was add task, create user. So we're calling login there. We need to make our create user. Once again, it's gonna look remarkably similar to the login. So there we go. Uh, we did use different names. It's create name and create pass. So instead of login name and login pass, and then we are going to send a route not to the validate route, but to the create route, and it should respond. It's JSON, and we should get back a true or a false. If it is true we will come in and do the same things that we did before where we switch these and then uh, load in the tasks. One other thing that I don't believe we have properly handled here is what happens when they click log out. So there's login and when they click log out, right now this is going to task two's log out. We need this to go to task three's log out which doesn't exist yet, but we will create it. So first off, let's make a route to it. Log out three on task list three. Okay, everything, all of those have been updated to threes. And let's add an action. 
def logout is an action that takes an implicit request. Now what do we do in task two? It simply did a redirect to the original uh, load page. We could do that uh, with a new session. Um, this might actually be the easiest thing to do because it would force it to reload. Uh, and it should wind up resetting the HTML. And there's a part of me that actually doesn't like this approach. I'll copy it and we'll see it run, verify that it works, and then we'll talk about why I don't like it and possibly switch it to, to an alternate approach. Okay, let's see if we have all of our routes linking up nicely. So that goes in there. Let's make sure that I haven't broken anything. Okay, I click the logout button. Ah, this is still going to load too which I don't want, so I'll have to look into that. And this is a different user. Okay, oh, we are not clearing this out when they do an add task. That is another thing that we need to look into. Okay, so we have two tasks, two things we need to fix. One, oh well that's an easy one. We directed them to task list two. The other is that when we add the route, and this is going to be inside of the JavaScript, for adding a task, it doesn't blank out that element of the HTML, and we want it to do that. So the text was ID new text. In fact, it's the thing that we're getting here. So we should be able to after we load tasks. Okay, let's refresh. Nope, oh, and that's on load two still. Let's go back to version three. Let's try going in as a new user. Okay. So it's now clearing that out, and when I log out, I go to version 3. Excellent. So it's all doing what we want, except for the fact that the logging out is being done as a redirect. Okay? And, and basically everything else in this app, uh, I do currently actually have redirects on some of these errors. Uh, we could consider changing those over. Right now I'm actually quite happy if someone because those errors should be someone's basically trying to attack our website. I'm perfectly fine just redirecting them and not giving them back any nice JSON. Um, but logout is, is a valid call. And in our JavaScript, instead of, so this was just a link, okay, to go to a logout. Probably the better way to do it on this version would be to make an Ajax call and have that Ajax call reset the session and return basically true or false for whether or not it succeeded. We would expect that it would succeed. Uh, and then have the website actually um, change the view that you see. Okay, so with new session, a redirect. If I wanted to do that, I would give an OK and let's give back a true to say that this worked. In this case, there is no alternative to that. And instead of just making this a link here of I'm actually going to leave it as, uh, let's change this to a button that says log out, perhaps. On click, it is going to do a log out call, which we have to add to our JavaScript. And we close the button. 
and we put log out. And so when they execute a log out, All I really want to do is I want to send to the server that they are logged out and then swap back these elements. Okay, I don't even necessarily have to wait for the server to respond. Actually, is our route for logout, it is a get. So, inside of here, I think the other thing we had as a get was our task list. So if I'm going to do a similar type of fetch, though obviously the code that goes in here is much smaller, I now need a logout route. We hadn't had that previously. We're supposed to get some JSON returned to us, but when it comes back to us, all that we are going to do is swap the two elements. So that they see their login screen again. Okay, now last thing we need in place is a logout route. which is task three, log out. Let's see if I have any typos in there. It pulled up. We come into here. I can add, log out is now a button. Ah, okay. So unexpected I in JSON at position zero. So what it sent back didn't parse properly. We'll come back in one final video and work on getting our logout to work nicely using JSON.